Welcome back. This is return part two in the function section of Code Academy's Learn JavaScript. It says, in the last exercise, we pointed out that using return makes programs more maintainable and flexible. But how exactly? When functions return their value, we can use them together and inside one another. If our calculator needed to have a Celsius to Fahrenheit operation, we could write it with two functions like so. So we have function multiplied by 9 fifths takes in Celsius and it will return Celsius times 9 fifths. Then we have function get Fahrenheit, which will take in Celsius, and it will return multiplied by 9 fifths with Celsius passed in plus 32. So down here when we console.log the temperature is, and then we interpolate this get Fahrenheit with 15 passed in is Celsius. So it will put Celsius in here, and then it will do multiply by 9 fifths, putting 15 in here and adding 32 to it, which will return 59. It says, take a look at the get Fahrenheit function. Inside of its block, we called multiply by 9 fifths and pass it the degrees in Celsius. The multiply by 9 fifths function multiplied to Celsius by 9 divided by 5. Then it returned its value, so the get Fahrenheit function could continue on to add 32. Finally, on the last line, we interpolated the function call within a console log statement. This works because get Fahrenheit returns its value. We can use functions to section off small bits of logic or tasks, then use them when we need to. Writing functions can help take large and difficult problems and break them into small and manageable problems. Instructions 1. It's your job to calculate two more numbers for each order. A sales tax 6% needs to be calculated for every full order. This should be based on subtotal. The total, which is the subtotal plus tax, should also be computed. First, let's start with calculating tax. Under the get subtotal function, declare function name get tax. It should take no parameters. So under the get subtotal, declare function name get tax. Get tax takes in no parameters. We run this. Next. It's going to have us inside get tax function multiply subtotal times six percent. Make sure to return the result of this operation. So here's get tax. We want to return and we get subtotal and what we can pass in would be order count and then we want to also multiply times 0 0.06 semicolon so let's run this so inside this is supposed to be it so now that we did that says now that you calculated the tax declare another function named get total beneath the get tax so we go here declare another function get total no parameters inside the get total function add the subtotal to the tax then return the result so return get subtotal with order count and add we'll do function get total return get subtotal plus get tax so if we run this we see we passed fourth it says on the last line of the program call the get total function inside of a console log statement so get so we want to do a console.log and we want to do a get total. See what this does. So it says you wrote four functions from scratch and we passed them into each other. So just to see how all this happened, if you guys see, we start with order count being zero. Then we, every time um, the take order function runs, we will increment order count. So we can see that order count is passed three times, which means that count will be three. Then we do get subtotal. We could pass in three. It runs the get subtotal function with three passed in, calculates, and it returns three times 7.5.
and then when we do get total, it will run get total, which is going to get subtotal with the number that was passed in um, for three because three take orders were ran. And that's where we get for total run it. We get 2385, and that is after taxes. Before taxes for the three, it's 2250. The total after taxes, 2385. And that is return part two in Codecademy's Learn JavaScript section.